Right now, we're highlighting good news. That's right. This weekend, you can take part in the Braveheart Memorial Run in Virginia Beach. It is named in honor of Navy SEAL Alan Stone. Alan ran in the race in 1999 and won. Tragically, it was his last race. Yeah, he later died during a training exercise. News chaser Jason Wall shows us how his friends are keeping his memory alive and how you can take part. Good morning. Good morning, guys. And we're here at the Virginia Beach Ocean Front. I'm joined this morning by some of the folks behind the Allen Stone Braveheart Memorial Race, which will be out here this Saturday. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing great. Great. All right, I'm joined by Mike Wilson, the race director. Now, tell us about Saturday's event. Uh, Saturdays, we're doing the Allen Stone Braveheart Memorial Races. It's in memory of our friend Allen Stone, who was a Navy SEAL here locally who died in 1999. Uh, we renamed the Braveheart Race for him that following year, and we've been doing it now for uh, 14 years. And it supports our charities, the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad and the Navy SEAL Foundation. Awesome. I'm here with Mary Grace Davis. Now, this is the 14th year that you've been involved in this, 14th year of the race. Why do you keep coming back and doing this? It's just a great way to honor not only Alan's life, but like Mike said, all the lives that have been lost uh, in support of our country. That's awesome. And Jim Oval with the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad. Why are you guys involved with this race? Oh, yes. Well, thanks much to Kevin Martingale, who was a great friend of Alan and also our legal advisor on the Rescue Squad. We are one of the recipients of the race proceeds. But also we want to just recognize all the volunteers, especially those men and women serving in the military who also serve this great city through the Volunteer Rescue Squad. And our hats are off to them who are doing double duty. Thank you so much, Jim. And before we go real quick, Mike, let us know. People want to come out. What do they need to know? Uh, they can either go to allenstonememorial.com. They can come out Friday night to Final Kick Sports from 5 to 7. They can register. Or they can come out to 31st Street Park right in front of the Neptune statue. Register uh, from 6 a.m. till 7.30. Awesome. Guys, give yourselves a round of applause, and we'll be back in the next hour in Virginia Beach. Jason Walsh, 13 News Now. That's a great group of people. I met them before, some of them before. It's a great effort, too. Yeah, it really is. They put a lot of work into that, so hopefully lots of folks will turn out for that. All right, let's talk about our military and a great community effort here. There's a way you can show your support to the men and women who put their lives on the line. That's right. This weekend, you can take part in the Braveheart Memorial Run in Virginia Beach. It's named in honor of Navy SEAL Alan Stone. And Alan ran in that race in 1999 and won. Tragically, it was his last race because he later died during a training exercise. Yeah, news chaser Jason Walsh is with some of his friends who are keeping his memory alive so they and you can help other SEALs and their families. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, guys. And we're back here at the Virginia Beach Ocean Front. I'm joined this morning by some of the folks behind the Allen Stone Braveheart Memorial Race, which will be out here Saturday. So I'm going to talk to Mike Wilson, the race director. Tell us about the event on Saturday. Uh, we're, on Saturday, we're doing the Allen Stone uh, Braveheart Memorial Races. It's our 14th year. It's in honor of our friend Allen Stone, who was a local Navy SEAL who was killed, and uh, we renamed the race in his honor. We have three races that we're doing. We have a run, swim, run, a 5K, and a one mile, so there's a little bit of something for everybody there. That sounds like a great event. I'm going to come over here to Victor Bacar with uh, Team Hoyt. Tell us about what Team Hoyt does during the races. Basically, we've got uh, rider athletes with physical disabilities, and our goal is just to make them an active part of the community. Um, we've, we've signed up with Allen Stone over the years, uh, and our rider athletes love it and look forward to every race every year. I'm sure they're going to have a great time out here. Now I'm with uh, Courtney Dwyer with the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad. Why are you guys involved in the race? Well, we're here to support the community. The Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad really likes our military uh, cousins in the area here, and the proceeds help support our cause and our mission of year-round supporting emergency medicine in Virginia Beach. Tell me why this is so much fun for you. Well, I know that it is helping those who help keep us safe, and it is a great way to get community service, and it's just an overall positive experience. That is a great answer, and I'm going to come on over here to give her a round of applause. Yeah. And we'll come back over here to Mike. Mike, real quick, before we go, people want to come out. What do they need to know? Uh, they can either go to allenstonememorial.com, or they can come out Friday night to Final Kick from 5 to 7 and sign up, or they can come out here Saturday morning, the 20th, and they can sign up from 7 a.m. till race time. Guys, give yourselves a round of applause. In Virginia Beach, Jason Laws, 13 News Now. Keep going, guys. All right, thanks, Jason.